The sun is setting on day three here at X Games Minneapolis, but we've saved our best for last as we welcome you into the U.S. Bank Stadium for the real cost skateboarding big air final. What's happening, everybody? Brandon Graham alongside the legend, the most decorated athlete in X Games history, Mr. Bob Burnquist. Bob, thank you so much for being in the booth with us. I know you want to be out there at Big Air, <laughs> but you're calling it here today. Yes, I am. Well, good evening, everyone. This is an exciting night. Uh, mixed feelings for me. I don't know what I feel like if I want to be out there or not, but this is cool. I thought I wasn't going to be nervous, but I'm nervous. It's uh, show and tell day here today in the booth, and uh, you brought one of your 30 X Games medals. Why this one in particular did you bring? Well, this is my, my first medal. This is a bronze vert from San Diego, and, that, and this kind of started everything, so I felt like this would be the one to bring. So bring back memories, 1997. That's incredible, man. Well, speaking of memories, World of X Games, we uh, recently did a being piece yeah. on you where we really documented um, your life in skateboarding. How surreal was that for you to watch back? Oh, it's always crazy to, to look back like that. You know, it's, you get emotional. There's a lot, lot, lot of pain, a lot of uh, great achievements and happiness, and, you know, you just go through it. Yeah, absolutely. So we're getting ready to kick this event off, but before we do that, we want to give you guys just a little snippet of that World of X Games being on Bob Burnquist. Bob Burnquist is one of the most influential transition skaters ever. Bob is keeping a freestyle right now. Oh my God! Bob Burnquist is one of the most exciting skateboarders ever to walk this earth. Oh, oh no. my gosh. Oh my gosh! Bob Burnquist does it again! He's done things that I believe will never be done again. Bob Burnquist to me, like, He's my hero, no? He's definitely not from this planet, though. <laughs> I do that not know critical. what planet Bob Burnquist is from, but I firmly believe it is no longer from Earth. My story started back in 95 here at X Games. This was my last one, 2017. I just felt like it was the time. Now, I'm not done competing, I'm not retiring, but when it comes to X Games and my competitive history, it's over and it's okay. Right when we were done with the event, I walked under the ramp and I had this like flush of emotion and uh, I just felt so blessed. I think that the most important things I've learned in skateboarding were just like, if you want to accomplish something, you have to try it. If you believe it uh, long enough, that it'll, it'll happen. You can remember me however, I just, I went out there and I did it and I'm doing it, and if it inspired you to go out and do something different, then that's plenty. Such a touching tribute to such a legend. And there you see a look at the graphic on uh, big air medals. <laughs> Bob Bernquist, uh, to be running a skateboard Big Air contest at X Games without you competing in it is, um, it doesn't seem right, but at the same time, it's an interesting new era that's now being ushered in. Yeah, it's uh, it's different for me. I mean, it, 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 you know, it feels like I need to be out there and, and, and skating and pushing and challenging. And, you know, it's just so, it's so emotional and so intense and you, what you have to put out there and, and, you know, the pain that you can feel and all those things. It was just like, felt like, wait a minute, let me step aside for a second and let that right. flow through, you know. So it feels right. I mean, even though I'm looking at it, I want to skate, <laughs> I know what it feels like to stand on and top of that And that you rolling. have. I'll tell you what. <laughs> For those watching at home, anytime he's not here in the booth, he's up That's on right. the ramp putting in the runs. As much as I can. I mean, I got to skate the park a bunch where before I just had to focus on right. the mega ramp so much. So it, it's been a great experience. Yeah, and uh, one guy that I think all eyes are on tonight, our defending gold medalist, Elliot Sloan, Sloan, excuse me. If there was ever someone to beat in a competition, I think it's Elliot here in Big Air 2018. Yes, it is. He's really strong. He skates it a lot, and he's coming out to my ramp, and he's skating, and we're having sessions, and he has his little mini mega set up at his house, skating vert. I mean, he's focused, and he's got a couple of tricks to throw at as you see him do this kickflip 360 in the air, and, and he's just solid. You know, this uh, this really is Elliot's 
time to shine. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Elliot Sloan, he did skate in vert earlier in the week, didn't have the success that he was looking for. But I think in a lot of ways that allowed him to reshape his focus and take it all out on this ramp, if you will. Yes, and uh, he's probably listening to electronic there to, to get psyched. And Elliot, you know, just trying to loosen up. This is, it's nerve wracking to be up there. And now <laughs> the pressure is on him. You know, the eyes are on him and he's been skating. It's pretty hard to feel that, but that's, you know, he, he's taking it. He's getting ready. There's a look at our start list for the night. Some familiar names, but also a rookie in the field. Young Toby Ryan. Kid is only 14 years old. Yeah, Toby just started kind of skating mega ramp this year. Uh, this year coming out in the backyard for a couple of sessions and then just been a stellar evolution you know and, and now he's here he's already jumping the big side he's getting ready to go with the big guys you know it's uh it's cool to see you know that it keeps going you got a you got a young kid and uh, the future's bright here well it's time to start the real cost skateboard big air and we begin with edgar Pereira making his 13th X Games appearance. He has two bronze medals from this event, Bob. And Vovo has been skating. Edgar, we call him Vovo, Edgar Pereira. You know, he's been skating with me from the beginning. And he is a solid skateboarder. Put a run in with a nice Ollie 360 off the, the big gap into a heel flip. Oh! Bonnie Ferriel with a double grab, trying to spin. He got so much time, but just popped out a little bit too much. Maybe excited about you know, the event starting and, and snapping on the quarter a little too hard. That's too bad, but he, he half flipped that and <laughs> somehow tried to half flip it again. Yeah, let's take another look off look at the this. quarter he pipe. grabs, spins, doesn't quite start spinning as he wanted, grabs half, then does another spin. And it was right there, he was just a little over and a little low and took it down. Everything's okay, loosen up. His score comes in 34.33. We've got 10 skaters out here, each of them taking five runs. The single best score counts. Yes, and that gives you some opportunity for progression instead of trying to do a best two run where you have to be consistent. You end up leading some tough tricks away this format. So here's the young blood, 14 years old, out of Carlsbad, California, making his X Games debut, four foot seven, Toby Ryan. Get this backside only three over the big gap right into it. He's got a pump because he doesn't have much weight behind, but that was a huge 540 landing low. But he got up there in the air for a, a small guy. He got way up there. That he got a pump smile in. says it all, Bob. Welcome to the X Games, Toby great, Ryan. Great start for Toby. Look at this nice Ollie 360. Jake Brown started with those way back in the day, and you're seeing them consistently now. And then this is where you would think he would be on the low side for his weight, but he actually gave it a good pump. Really popped, look how low he is. That is a really low landing. Um, the, the big air quarter pipe gives you that extra opportunity to, to land a little lower, but you don't want to be lower than that. Toby pulling it and making it happen. You can't ask for much more than that. A score of 66 on the dot for Toby. Uh, your opening run and your X Games debut. Get yeah, out of here. first place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Toby. So he'll get four more cracks at this thing, and we move on here at the Real Cost Skateboard Big Air. Next to drop in, Ronnie Gomez out of Sao Paulo, making his 14th X Games appearance. Bob, he's always there in Big Air, but he's yet to find the podium in his X Games Yes, career. he is, and he's been progressing, and he's very solid, consistent, knows how to compete, solid on the bird. So starts with the switch back 180. All right, I like to see that. Gives you a nice solid. It takes his foot off on the tail grab five. Really great run. That's a tough 540. <laughs> Lots of adrenaline. And oh, if, man. In case you were wondering, yes, we are in Minnesota, but uh, you might think we were in South America. The love for all of the Brazilian athletes out here this weekend has been incredible. Check this out. Tail grab one foot five up in the 20s and then sketching out in the end, putting the run together. That's a really nice run. The switch back up 180 Ollie. Going down switch down the big rolling. Does take a little extra wobble off your leg there. Great there job for Ronnie. This is good. I mean, it's great to have a good first run because now he's right. got room to progress and he's got tricks. A really solid first run score, as you said, 80.66. He finished in 12th place. 
last year in this event. Nice. Well, let's take a closer look at this gargantuan of a ramp that we call Big Air. I mean, Bob, right out the gate, this has gone through a few evolutions, but this has primarily been the same ramp we've been using over the last couple of years. Yes, it is. And, and you know, this is it. You got to jump and you got to fortify. This is the design as it stands. It's got this big, long footprint. You know, it scares you and it uh, makes you happy at the same time. Yeah, it's so funny how we talk to fans all the time and they go, when did you stop getting scared of this thing? And you go, you never, never, stop getting you never scared. do. You gotta work yourself. I mean, just to be here ready for the X Games, you know, if I had to get off my chair here and go compete, it would be hard for me to do that, you know, cause I really gotta set up and get comfortable with that speed and that height. So Jake Brown is comfortable. Jake he loves Brown. the big jump. He loves to go high. Starting out with his signature trick on Big Air. That's, Nice on ball, really solid oh. 540 for Jake. That was awesome, so stoked and, for him. And that was an awesome run for Jake Brown, making his 22nd X Games wow. appearance. He's won this event twice before. Yes, he has. The last couple of years, Bob, Jake's had trouble landing that first run, and it's been his undoing every attempt after that. So good to come out of the gate swinging like this. Yes, it is. And I think that this slow-mo just shows you. Look at that 540, upside down. Very Jake Brown-esque and one of my favorite fives. Jake Brown, a veteran, legend, and inspiration at Big Air, man. Look at that, just perfect landing. So stoked for Jake. Six, it takes so much there to do that. Six X Games medals for the 43-year-old. A 77.33, so that slots him into second place. But again, just getting that first run, how important that was. That is Great, man. Now, it's so nerve-wracking, so. Bob, here's Italo Penarubia. He was skating so well in vert, just couldn't make it happen. 27 years old, he's been so close. Fourth place last year in search of that first ever Big Air medal. It feels like it could happen this year. Well, he's got talent. He skates it all. He's got an all-around skill, and he likes being creative and doing different things. And there he goes with the late shove oh. and stale, trying to get haven't seen him do much of that, but that was actually really well attempted there. So he's going for a backside ollie three and then late shove it and then grab stale. We see if he lates or he takes it. Yeah, he late shove it there into a stale for three. New trick, we haven't seen that, so I'd like to see that. Well, he'll Interesting get, choice. He'll get four more chances at it here tonight. The real cost skateboard big air final and Gomez leading the way with that very strong 80.66 here on run number one. Our next skater to drop in will be Mitchie Brusco, who's been busy himself. He picked up a bronze medal in skateboard vert Thursday night, and he's looking for more hardware, but before he drops in, let's learn more in the real cost keys to success. My name is Mitchie Brusco. I'm a professional skateboarder. I still skate the same amount as I always have. On the side, like I really enjoy skydiving. I've been doing it now for over two years. Been able to bust out like 900 jumps and just fallen in love with it so much. What I love about skydiving is that I'm new at it. It's opened my eyes to this world that kind of similar way skateboarding did when I was younger. And it's like you step on this board and then all of a sudden you have this new sense of freedom. You know, I kind of look at it in a lot of ways like a contest run. I mean, to me, a, a contest run is like life or death. Like I have one option and it's like, I'm gonna make my run. Skydiving is so cool to me because every time I go on a skydive, that naturally happens without anything. There's this like seriousness that I like just absolutely love about it. <laughs> All right, Mitchie. Yeah, you think Big Air had enough size for him. He wants to go even higher. There's a look from Instagram. And that, yeah. uh, how much does that help him in his riding, especially in something like Big Air? Well, I share that love for skydiving with Mitchie, and I've done a couple jumps with him and been in the wind tunnel with him. I think it's been helping his uh, body awareness, you know, his situational awareness, because I know it helped me. And he's got an interesting start. He's starting from the smaller jump, because he's going to get tech. Goes for the kickflip back 180, and I think... 
He is going for a 1080. Oh. So his strategy, he's going off the small jump, going kick flip back 180, landing fakey, and he wants a 1080 off that quarter pipe. Whoa. So <laughs> it's obviously, if you're going to go switch off the big side, that is really a yeah. whole nother game. Yeah, I haven't done it yet, right. and it's just uh, yeah, a whole nother. But he's going off the small. He's a little bit more comfortable there. And I don't know where the judges would put him with that, but I mean, 1080 is a 1080, and that is a good, solid trick for right. kickflip 180. So he's getting tech. So he's sacrificing a little bit of amplitude, Sacrificing some though. height, but he's getting some spins. Oh, my goodness. I like that because he's just going, well, I mean, I could be forced into this format and go off the, the big one like everyone else, or I can just try and do my own thing. And Mitchie's doing his own thing. If he can pull that off, this place will go absolutely psycho. So here's Trey Wood. All right, Trey Wood straight out of park. Finals, incredible run of hit skating. Big guy going right into a 720, lengthening it. Doesn't even skate this thing that much. Right into a 540. Perfectly done for Trey, Trey Wood. What oh a my first gosh. run for Trey, as you said. Skating earlier today in the park final. Didn't get a lot of reps on this ramp, but you wouldn't think that watching him after his first attempt. No, and that is a very well done 720. I think he did his first one last year, and he remembered that, and he put it down. I mean, you know, like we saw, he's a skateboarder. Look at that 540. He was in the nose in the deep end on the park and kind of squatting and landing high on the transition. He, he didn't land high here. He, he landed perfect and had a lot more hang time. A little got, bit more time to think. You got a lot of time to think here when you're doing getting on the quarter pipe like that. We got introduced to Trey when he was 11 years old and Big Air back in 2012. And that score of 83 puts, that was a nice height too, puts that was the 17-year-old in the first yeah, place. Trey. <laughs> so Trey Wood that. in his sixth X Games appearance still trying to find that first medal. Does the drought end tonight? Clay Kreiner. He's got an X Games medal. He earned it last year in Big Air with the bronze. Yeah, and he is capable, and that's Trey's part finals buddy right here, right. going right after him. Clay Kreiner, the busiest man in many, competed in the bird final, competed in the park final. Now Just Big Air. such an all-around skill for Clay, and that's okay. There are five more runs. That's an Indy 7, a little tougher of a grab. Um, but uh, Clay was doing those, and that's okay. He's got a few more runs. And, and Bob, we'll take another look over the gap, but uh, Trying to get that rotation. He started off okay. I think a little bit more of an upside down rotation to start would, would help him. So he ends up in the back seat right there and over rotating. And it's too bad we didn't see him complete and get up the quarter because no one seems to be going higher than Clay no, Kreider. You know, and I don't really pump when I land that landing and I see Clay pumping like he wants more than what it can give. You know, that takes a certain personality. So here's Tom Shar, 18 years old. He's got seven X Games medals. And he's Another a park. silver medalist from Fox last year. Right into a tail seven like no problem. Tom Shar into a 540 to get a run in and he jumps off. Oh man, a little bit on the back seat on the five. That's what that's the hard part about going back and forth from park to to mega like that because it changes your spin a little bit and he wanted to do a safe <laughs> if that's safe right there over 20 foot by 40. nothing safe no. about that but he problem. wanted to get that safe run because he has a nine so right. he wanted this run and that that's was a, a solid point. tail seven really well done and then you know bailing a five will mess, will mess with his head a little bit Shar did earn a medal earlier today in park trying to go two for two with one in big air you know, the tough part was the tail seven. He nailed that one perfect. You would think that five was just right there for him. And Elliot Sloan, the 2017 skateboard big air gold medalist, finds himself on two wheels in his free time. Let's hear more in the Pacifico Discover More. My name's Elliot Sloan, and I'm a professional skateboarder. Oh my goodness, Elliot Sloan. I got into motorcycles maybe a couple years ago now just through dirt bikes, I guess. And then uh, a few of my friends got street bikes and then it kind of just one thing led to another and ended up getting a street bike. Riding bikes is great for like just clearing your mind and it's good to just get away from everything else and switch it up for a bit and it helps when you come back to skating, you know, and if you're trying to trick or trying to learn something new, it's like kind of, I think helps. I think what also like really drew me to, to riding bikes is just how fast you go. Like, I love skating mega and 
it's getting great and going really fast. So this is something that I've just, I don't know, fallen in love with. So I can see myself doing it for a really long time. Well, Elliot Sloan's out here trying to defend his gold medal. He is the preeminent favorite. If no one's ever seen him skate before, what are they missing with Elliot Sloan? Well, Elliot's got power and consistency and really good spins. Let's see what he chooses to do. Right into that Indy 7. Perfect execution, no problem. Into it. Oh, oh. he's trying the nine right off the bat. And that's smart. I mean, I mean, it, it's not an easy trick. He wants every attempt possible to count. So he tries to go for that Indy 900 off that 720, and that would definitely put him up there in the top spot. Oh, so this place will erupt if he Which can is land. Which is took nine. off a little. See how his toes are out. You know, it was, yeah. it was an awkward grab there, and you know he had to throw it away. Gosh, yeah. that's like never easy, right? When you're mid-air that high, having to make that decision split second. Yes, and that, it's not something that you're going to practice a lot off that big jump. So he was doing a bunch of Indy 5s, you know, and then all of a sudden he goes for a 9. So he's using the competition. He's using his run to get his brain to do it, you know. I had to do that. It's, it's not easy to try something like that. Run one in the books here at the Real Cost Skateboard Big Air. More from Mini when we return. Nightfall over our palatial summer home here at X Games Minneapolis. We're in run two of the real cost skateboard big air final. And we come to you under the lights here at US Bank Stadium. Just an insane crowd on hand to watch these guys throw it down. Let's get a course report from the third member of our team, Craig McMorris. Well, gentlemen, I love the strategy at play so far after the first of five runs. Some of the athletes, obviously, maybe taking a little bit tamer, sticking to a five or a safety run in run one. Some of them going for the 900, like we saw those last three riders at the end. Bob, I'm posing a question to you. Would you go all out for all five, or would you put down a safety run? Wow, Craig, I don't know. You know, it's different strategies for different people. Sometimes if you have a really tough run, you can go for that tough run a couple of runs. But if it doesn't happen, then you go strategy. Let me go back to a safe. Well, some people want to do that safe run first, so Elliot's going for the full, I guess the nine was a safe run, I don't know, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see. Edgar Pereira dropping in for his second attempt, trying to replace that 34.33 and just land one right here on attempt number two. He is a great competitor, <laughs> Edgar, don't sleep on him, and he, he, he's total metal contention here. Trying to get a run in to climb like everyone else. So he starts off with the Ollie three just to get that in, pump me up a little bit. Into the heel flip. Very, oh my gosh. So he went the heel flip, didn't flip, grabbed it, spun around, popped out too much, landed low. Those hurt. Yeah. Each one of those, I mean, you feel it. Yeah, you got pads, yeah, you got, but he's snapping off that big jump. He's going 20 plus. And, you know, that low lander rocks you. Yeah, and Edgar hit pretty hard on his first and attack. He but, to, but, yeah, but he, he brought flipped. it back around, though, Bob. No, it's just, it. you know, yes, he did, but it didn't flip. But I don't care. I mean, it turned into something. But then he is over-rotating. He's over-snapping that. He has to go for it for a 360 and then spin the last 180. If I was there, I would tell him that. But Edgar has got three oh. more runs. Yeah, that feels good. That's all right, man. Take that. Shake it off. Three more runs. That's right. So run number two, Toby Ryan dropping in. You talk about safety run going. He's already got one run in. Yes. So I'm excited to see what 14-year-old Toby Ryan has in store for an encore. I think he's going to change up the quarter pipe. Oh, he changed up the gap, oh. too. Yeah, you know, he's, he's having fun with it. Uh, you know, obviously an Ollie 360 would have worked out better. So you can get to the quarter and change that trick up because the tail grab one foot uh, isn't necessarily better than the Ollie three. But he doesn't want to do the same thing, and I can respect that. And Bob, that raises an interesting question. What makes the Ollies with no grabs so difficult? Well, it's the relative wind can take the board away from you. There's no wind in the stadium, but the relative wind is the wind you get from that speed. You know, So if you don't hold your board right, it'll just take the board right away from you. 
So we move on. Ronnie Gomez sitting in second place. Put down a really strong first run. He's got that 80.66. Here he goes for attempt number two. Coming in off a great run. So different mindset here for Ronnie. Let's see what he does. Mike. Yes, the Ollie 360. Ronnie, oh. that is such a hard trick. And what I meant about the board flying away, it's a lot easier for you to hold that board on your feet with the backside Ollie 3 because right. you can toe down and then now the wind, the board's against the wind. But with the frontside Ollie 3, he's got a moment there where that relative wind could just take it out and he held it right there. Could have made it just overspun a little bit. Great attempt for Ronnie. That's a really tough trick. So I can see what he's doing here. Nice, that's right. He is going to do it. That's the, that's the mindset. There's no other way to, to think about it. Jake Brown, six X Games medals, two gold, two silver, and two bronze. All of them from Big Air. It has been a while, though, since he's reached the podium here in this event. Well, he put his first run together, and he has a run to make it better. And I think I know what's coming. Let's see if he's going for that. Yes, he is. He's going for the Ollie 720. The only skateboarder to do that trick is one of the toughest tricks. I think it's one of the best tricks over the gap uh, ever done in competition or not. Uh, Jake Brown trying to do and repeat his Falls de Guasu Brazil right. uh, move there. So it just takes off and goes away. He snaps a little too hard, maybe excited because he got a first run in and, and he wants to get this out of the way. But you got you to gotta be a lot more subtle with your movements. and. He knows it. He knows. As soon as it took off, he knows what he's it's, it's next. It's interesting that you said Fazio Guasu. That was actually five years ago. That was the last time that Jake Brown got on the podium at X Games. So we move our attention now to Idolo Penarubia. He's been all over the place this week. Here's a video go. of him dropping That's in. That's awesome. From the athlete lounge onto the quarter pipe of Big Air. That was like, uh, he's just padding up, and then it's like, let me go practice. And then he took that route. It's a little quicker than the stairs. When I, first I like saw the way that. he looks at things. When I first saw that on my timeline, I was blown <laughs> away. He tell him putting down the so, social media hit of the X Games. No doubt about it. So Idolo <laughs> did not have a full pull his first run, just trying to put one together here. Bob. Second run, still, still good on the strategy. I mean, I would take the first two runs, you know, to, to attempt something, and now... If it goes beyond this, then it would change things up. But let's see, Italo, Pena Rubia. If he'll go for the same thing, he will. Oh, oh. Italo with the over rotation. Ah, oh, man, you know, it's it changes when your run is, it's almost like you overdo it. You know, he went everything good there, and then it was over rotating. Um, it's a far gap. You have, any subtle movement carries far. So really what he had to do there is, is go for the 180 and then spin last moment. So, so at this point with three more attempts, does he give that one more shot or now does he have to reset up? Well, if that was me and the, the trick is doable, if you just adjust these minor things, I would give it another go. You know, use that third run, give it one more go. And if it doesn't come through, then I don't know. It's going to so, be tougher and tougher. Pressure will build and then he might get too nervous. Here's Mitchie Brusco, who's trying to go Tech City. He's doing something different than the rest of the field. If he lands this, though, it's got first place written all over it. I don't know. It really depends on what Elliot does later, but he, this is very technical. He's going to go for this. Okay, kick flip back 180, so it's not just any trick over the gap. And then grab, spin. A little anxiety, a little early. I mean, I don't even know what it feels like to spin a, a 1080 from that fakie position, but it feels like if he goes for a seven and then keeps going. So see, he starts spinning way early, so his his uh, his truck bumped as it was spinning, so that's just threw it right off his feet. He needs to get a good fakie ollie, you know, straight. I believe he can get it, and you know what? If I was Mitchy, I would try that until the end of my competition. Well, he is a tactician, but before Trey Wood drops in, let's find out how he navigates life as a 17-year-old professional skateboarder. I'm Trey Wood, and I'm a professional skateboarder.
I'm from Queen Creek, Arizona, and I started skateboarding when I was six years old. I like Arizona because it's where I grew up and it's what I know. I'm sure I will eventually move to California, but for now, this is home. I am still in school, and I am a junior. I have one more year until I graduate. My focus these days is pretty much just to skateboard and have fun. And if there's a contest coming up, I'll get ready for a contest. If I need to film something, I'll film something. Whatever is thrown at me, I'll do. I just skate. Trey Wood is our current leader at that 83. He's got that one out of the way, so now he can push the limits here. Yes, he can, and he's he's a happy kid, as you saw. And he's going for that 720, and he'll keep smiling because he's so happy. Trey Wood, he put a run down. You know, I mean, what? I think that for the big air competition, he did what he wanted to do. He landed a seven, he landed a five. Now he tried to put the seven again. Maybe he'd go for a different type of 540 on the quarter pipe. Uh, I don't see him with another trick on the gap. And if he stays on the top spot through these first two runs, that's an enviable position to be because that means the it's rest pressure. of the field is going to yeah. have to go bananas and do that big one to push him. Yeah, and that's a good combo, you know, for what's going on here. You know, the, the competition here is still wide open. You got Clay to land a run, Ethan to land a run, Elliot to land a run, but that's a good position because anything can happen. So here's Clay Kreiner. He did not land his trick over the gap in run one. I have a feeling he's got this one. Oh, a oh. little bit of an over-rotation. And that's when you start getting that excitement again. You're in your run, you really want to do it, you get anxious, and then you give it too much of a snap and that over-rotation just gets yeah. you in the end. What goes started wrong off here? really good. Starting to get a little bit more of an upside down takeoff, which is much better. It was solid all the way around, but just here, over rotated. His body uh, kept going, his shoulder kept moving. It's hard to hold. I like front sevens because I can hold them better. I'm not too great at the back sevens, and, and that's why right there. So Clay Kreiner trying to put it together. Our Monday night baseball matchup has JD Martinez and the Red Sox starting a three game series with Bryce Harper and the Nationals, 7 p.m. Eastern on ESPN, also live on the ESPN app, so you can watch anywhere. We move on here in run number two. Clay Kreiner still unable to put that one down, but Tom Shaw, a silver medal last year, he's won this event before. What can Tom do here to put some pressure on his good friend Trey Wood and get into that top spot? Well, a seven and a nine will do it, and he has that. So let's see if he puts down the seven, which the tail grab seven is a very technical seven. He's got that, which is incredible. Really well done. He does a five instead, so that'll give Trey a hard time right there, too. So, so there's, Tom, the, there's the solid building block routine that's it. you were talking that's about. That's it, and the tail seven definitely takes over a mute seven, uh, and then they both did backside fives on the court five. So I don't know how high they were, but solid back five if this is what's going on here. Yep. He wants that 540 in, very slow, different type of spin than he was doing in park earlier. It's just taking forever to spin. You can have conversations back and forth with yourself here <laughs> and then finally decide to make it last minute. Great 540 by Tom. And Tom shar has been so consistent his young career Should take the top years spot. old. Yeah, He's just close. getting started. Trey had a 22, so, so a but that tail high. seven does it. Right. So his yeah. score coming in at an 85, and we have a new leader, Shar, taking over the top spot. Pretty solid. I mean, that's, you know, totally understandable and doable. Nothing to take away from Trey. Still in a good spot in the second position there with a few guys to make in this guy, Elliot Sloan. Right. And here's the thing. Shar put out a solid run. Trey Wood did the same thing. Elliot Sloan is doing something right out of the gate to try to push away the field immediately. Yes, because it's not an easy combo he's got going on. He just has 720s down, but let's see, he goes for the Indy 7 again, and it gets away from him. Oh, Elliot, anxiety again. I mean, the competition, it's a whole other game. 
Again, he knows he can get this run in. Snaps a little too early on the takeoff and just goes away from it. Just a little early of a snap. Oh, and he almost got, he almost spread back around even his foot. Like that's what, that's X Games. You don't want to fall if you're bored. It just, uh, you know, physics made it impossible. That's two throwaways. Three more runs is okay, but that just adds pressure. Right. I would not like to be Elliot. Right and now. someone who was feeling pressure going into this oh, yeah. event. No I doubt on. about it. That's it. Run two in the books here at the Real Cost Skateboard Big Air Final Four from Minnesota after this. So run two in the books here at the Real Cost Skateboard Big Air Final and Tom Shar taking the lead. He was actually the only skater to land a run on the second attempt. Yes, uh, you know, this is the way the competition is here. And it's, uh, well, let's head over to uh, Craig McMorris, who I believe now has the best seat in the house. That's right, Brando. I uh, changed locations to, as you said, the greatest seat here on the Mega. We're going to kick run three off, but as you said, Tom Shar currently in the lead. Window's still open, though, folks, and I cannot wait to kick off run three. So, Brandon, let's get it going. Yeah, Craig. Well, stay with us, man. I want to get your vantage point throughout some of these runs as uh, we're getting ready to drop Edgar Pereira again. He's sitting in eighth place, just trying to complete a run, Bob. Yes, and the window is open. There's a lot of guys to go, guys guys that can put their runs together and move everything around. Uh, Edgar is one of them. He has the tricks to do it. So let's see if he pulls it off, if he can just cool himself down and, and adjust those subtle movements. Edgar rolling in. Goes for the backside, all the three, clean. Into that heel flip body bail that's just oh. keeping staying away from him. And the issue is the same mistake every time. He's getting caught in that bail rut, and it's hard because I can tell, Bob, you're sitting here, and if you were competing, you would be grabbing him by the shoulder saying, Hey, do oh, this, I do would that. I can tell see him what to do if eyes. I was right there. You want to be talking to him right now. But you, you see, I, I mean, I can I can say everything that I possibly want, but then he has to go out and translate, and, and he knows that he needs to do that. And then when you're there, that excitement, that size of the ramp, how fast you're going. And there's another thing here, too, that we don't catch when we're in this back seat. Yeah, hey, Craig, it seems like Toby Ryan, on top of being the youngest athlete in this field, also maybe has the largest fan base. They're going crazy for this kid. They're going crazy, and rightfully so, man. He was so close to putting down a nine in practice. I, I feel it right here for Toby. Let's come, Toby. Toby. Yeah, no Toby. pressure at all. No pressure, Toby. It's all right. <laughs> if we said it on TV, that means you have to do yeah. it. You know, it's uh, he's pretty cool for what uh, for what he's doing and where he's at and already putting the run in his debut Big Air event. So, Toby, we got a hit here, and I think that he might be going for that. So, oh, he takes his foot off on the tail grab again. Well, this is where... Uh, a little bit of experience would bring him to do that Ollie 3. Much better trick to get it going. Uh, but he wants to do something different. Does he look closer on this one versus attempt number two? Again, he's, he over rotated. Right there, he's thinking 360 when he should have thought backside 180. And then spin. See how he keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. His body, shoulder. So that little movement goes a long way off the big jump there. So, and you know you made the mistake, and it's just like, okay. Yeah, eating at you as you're over the gap. Third of three, run, third rider of the third run here, Ronnie. And, uh, Bob, what would you tell your fellow Brazilian right now? Man, I would tell him to just go for it. This is X Games. This is his chance. He's got to run in. Tell him I said, what's up? I like how Craig <laughs> just pops up for a comment and then just hides. Okay, Ronnie. Ronnie is going, I believe, for that frontside ollie three again. Ah. See how that board came out. Frontside ollie three has that problem. But again, three runs in. Ronnie Gomez is sitting in bronze medal position. He's never earned an X Games medal before. I know it's not over, but at least he's got that one. Yes, he does have a run, so that's a great run. He wants to do a better one because you got guys like Elliot that can land a run anytime, and then he's off that podium. So he's going to want to make it better. He's doing that Ollie 3 for that reason. That is a tough trick. That's a tough gap trick. No one's doing it. You won't see many people doing that. 
uh, because it's risky. Yeah, so here's Jake Brown. He was in that bronze medal position, and then Tom Shar landed at 85. He's doing a little work. And that bumped Jake Brown out of podium position. Well, now Jake, you know, again, he wanted to get that redemption run, got it clean first go. Now he wants the jugular run. He wants the Ollie 7. Really good. Oh. A little bit too much of an upside down start. Again, if, you, if we're talking frontside Ollie 360 relative wind troubles, think about it. Ollie 720 over the gap. He's got all kinds of relative wind hitting him at every angle, and he's adjusting his feet and spin to keep that under his board and on his feet. Yeah, just he's taking off a little bit too excited. You, you, you're sna he's snapping an Ollie a little too much when you don't need that much snap here on the big air ramp. And I think that goes to the jitters of the event. So he'll hold on to his best score. Tom Jar still leading the way as we're midway through run three here at the Real Cost Skateboard Big Air Final. Itzalo Penarubia in ninth place, just trying to land a run, run number three. Bob, you've been in this position before where maybe you hadn't had the success through the first two attempts. You're getting antsy. Do you give it one more go? I would if I was him. I don't know if his strategy might change on the quarter now. If he gets a landing on the gap, he might, you know, go for his big trick on the quarter. He gets it. Itzalo with the late shove at 360. Going for the huge 540. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. He almost rolled almost, away, Bob. Almost had that five over. Oh, man. I mean, it, you know, it's hard to hold your emotions. This is a high emotional event. The guys are doing for that. He's going so high that he needed to spin a little slower than that. Uh, but he also hung up. <laughs> he tried to squat it out. Body, a little back seat, too. That's okay, but that was really good. Uh, we haven't seen that trick. That's a late shove it. Um, Stale fish 360, which was cool to watch. Now we start getting into a high pressure zone. Italo Pinarubia, he, he wants that run. He has this run. He can do the run. Nothing can stop these athletes except gravity and large structures and those surprisingly tiny wheels. What's the biggest concern for tonight's competitors? Captain Obvious joining the conversation with a very valid question. What are these athletes' biggest concern? Well, as the competition goes on, the less runs they have, the pressure mounts. It's really who can handle that pressure, who will not succumb to that as the competition goes on. So I think that's these athletes' biggest concern. But to speak more to that, I know Brandon and Bobcat. A plus, <laughs> Craig. Nice. Gold star. Well, yeah, you know, these guys are worried about making their runs. Some, some of them have a run in, some of them don't. And then higher pressure for Elliot with high expectations, obviously. And then uh, he wants to get a run in. So Mitchie, incredible vert run, incredible vert showing, coming out to big air, trying to do something different. So a little less pressure, but he wants this run. Yeah, and he may try, he may go down trying this run all five attempts. Yeah, uh, he's gonna try this until he gets it. And he's gonna get it. Kick flip back 180, very well executed, adjusting his feet. Little, Slowed down, grabbed it. Oh my oh. God, Mitchie got so close. See, the thing with Mitchie oh. is if he grabs his board, he's got such awareness. That was a solid spin. He didn't even grab his board on the last two, but one, once he grabbed it, he weighed a little more. Oh, that front foot loose, put it back on and kept spinning. That's a lot of spins, kept looking. There's some wind tunnel yeah, experience like he coming just jumped in. out of a plane. And then he, the only reason he didn't do it is too low. He got a You're really right. big snap, and that's really tough to land. Even for Mitchie, he, he does land low fives. He's got that, but that was too now, low. Now, if he lands that run, and obviously Elliot might have something to say about that, but as it stands right now, would that take over first place away from Tom Sharp? You know, that is a tough call, but that is a really good gap trick. It's technical, and you're landing switch on the landing, which is really tough, and then you're going up fakey for a 1080. So that should... But, you know, again, I don't know what they're thinking in the booth out there in the judging stand. And then Trey comes in for a 720. He's trying to get the same trick over the gap. That's what he has. And he wants that. I think he wants to change something on the quarter pipe. Trey Wood. 
again, trying that seven. I think the issue here is it's the spin's too flat. He doesn't ride uh, the big air ramp as much, but if he took off a little bit more like a McTwist or like a 540 where you dip his head, he might come out of it a little bit more prepared for that landing. So. So Wood will stay in silver medal position, holding on to that 83. There you see Clay Kreiner. He grew up skating all aspects of skateboarding. Let's check in with him in this athlete profile. My name is Clay Kreiner, and I'm a professional skateboarder. I love skateboarding just because I get to spend a lot of time with my homies, travel the world, and see new places, meet new faces. Um, it's a super individual sport as well, so I get to push myself every day, have my little self battles. I grew up skating everything, street, vert, park. When you're a kid, you know, you don't have any sense of like a boundary or a, you know, a classification of skateboarding. You just want to ride your skateboard. And so anything that was there, I was down to skate. It's pretty clear that there are no limits really to skateboarding already. There never have been, and dudes are proving that more and more every day. Skateboarding is more progressive now than I feel like it ever has been. Clay Kreiner, the highest air ever done at X Games Big Air on that 540 right there. I love that, Bob, the declassification of skateboarding. It seemed like there was a period where guys were getting specialized. Now, half of this field is competing in two or three different events. Yeah, and, and it makes you a better skateboarder. Everything you skate, you know, you, you gain that tech and then you bring that experience over and, and inspiration to everywhere you go. And Clay with the 87, he gets it. Let's see what he chooses to do here. Goes for the alley, you backside 5-4. Incredible, Clay Kreiner. That is such a tough, blinding, fearful trick. Clay Love Kreiner. That. Very solid. Now, this is going to be probably over Trace because that was incredible right there. Oh, my goodness. 97. Land pumping. Look okay, at here's this. his 97. It looked like it was going to go away for a second just muscled it in. He did slow down that spin, which made it easier for him to land. So he brought it in more of a slide in. Now he's on. And then look at this alley-oop, upside down, oh. 540. Very it's, hard trick. It's it's offensive how good that was. I'm offended. It is, and it's one of the, he's one of the first guys to go alley-oop on the big air quarter pipe. And look at that, just a perfect landing. That's so hard, you don't know where you're going, if you're gonna end up hanging up or what, and he's just full throttle. And that score of 88, skyrockets oh Kreider right. in the gold medal position. Yeah. That's right, Char didn't get a nine. I thought Char had a nine. Yeah, he got a five. That's that's uh, that's what right, that's right in there. So Clay, Clay Kreiner, Kreiner taking putting the top himself spot. in a great position to earn his very first X Games gold medal, but it's not over yet. The guy no, he not. just took over the spot from Tom Char might have something to say about that. He does, and, and Clay has room to progress, and Tom has room to progress. And let's see if Tom is going for what I think he's going for. Oh my gosh! Oh. He actually wanted to get a tail grab seven one foot, or maybe it just kind of came off. I don't know what happened there. Maybe the spin was wrong. And it was like, okay, we take my foot off. But he's trying to make a tail seven one foot. Yeah, he actually went for it. So yeah, he took, he was taking that foot. It's a really tough trick at the top. But that's, that, I haven't seen that, and that's really hard to hold a spin taking your foot off, so. Tom has made the podium in every Big Air final since X Games Munich in 2013. That's five straight. Yeah. He's sitting in that silver medal spot right now, but he would love to take back that top spot. And he's got a couple more attempts to do it. Clay Kreiner gaining a few fans after that one. And then Elliot Sloan wants to put his two cents in. So here's Elliot Sloan yet to land this run. But if you thought they got loud for Clay on, Kreiner, Elliot. my goodness, if he can put this one out there. Indy 7, textbook Indy 7 for Elliot, really good. And then Indy 900 oh! hanging up just short. I mean, the fact that he goes for those 
like there's no tomorrow. Really tough to spin nine with an indie. A lot harder always when you grab an indie. And it feels like beautiful it's getting closer, Bob. Obviously, yes. he left his board up there, but take another look. What goes wrong? Well, just the fact that he hung up because the spin was really good. Slow spin, controlled right here. He'll probably nose going to stop it a little bit. He was already in that position, and then when, once he looked, he's like, I'm going to hang. Throwing that away. Well, he felt he's going to hang. No, he was going to over-rotate. So from this angle, it looked like it just wasn't ready. You don't want to put something like that down. Even if it's X Games, you know it's a slam. Well, so Elliot Sloan, I, I don't think he's going to stop trying to make that trick no. happen. But he's putting so much pressure on himself with just two attempts to go. So three runs in. Here at X Games Minneapolis, the real cost skateboard big air. There's many streaming live. Of course, facegood.com slash X Games immediately after the show. X Games Extra, Little Jack freaking everybody out. Hey, Clay Kreiner's got this place on fire. So, Bob, we're going the wrong direction. Four runs were landed in run one. One run landed in run two. One run landed in run three. But each of those one runs at least took over the lead. And all these guys have a run to move the leaderboard around. Bobo is one of them. Let's see. Backs out Ollie three again. Dip in that board to keep it under his feet. And then there is the heel flip. Oh, can he bring it? Body oh, barrel five no. just about short. You do have a lot of time, but not that much time. Man, oh, I thought he was going to bring this thing but back look, like flipped. Odell Beckham. It flipped, and then oh, just about an early grab, grab the truck, bring the board around, just, you know, if maybe he was up in the 30 feet. <laughs> he could have brought that one in. Bobo, I still believe he can put a run together, and he's going to put this run together. Uh, it's just too bad because this trick, he was doing it, you know, I hope so. all the time. It's a different game off the big jump, so. So we'll drop Toby Ryan next again. <laughs> Toby came right out of the gate. Put down his run. Big man. It's all gravy now Let's see what him. he chooses to do here on the gap. Goes for the Ollie three. Someone talk to him. And then 900 for Toby. Oh! Showing everyone that he's trying 900s on his first big air competition. Toby just completely fearless and going for the mute nine which I feel is a very tough one which one of the first nines landed by Tony back in 99 and he got close I mean uh, that's doable he can put that together he knows <laughs> he just like puts his hand on his helmet that's yeah. right Toby you're he close you're at X Games I did not come here for sixth place <laughs> You just want to hug him. Four threes, 33.33. He'll hold on to his first run score. Ronnie Gomez, he's sitting in fourth, still in search of that first ever X Games medal in his 14th X Games appearance. Well, he's going for a switch drop in, so he is changing it up. He wants to get the quarter pipe. So switch backside, Ollie 180 for Ronnie. A nice trick over the gap into the tail grab 360. Oh! Oh, man. He can't right away. Almost. And that hurt. That is a lot of G's, and he went down very close to flat bottom there. That rocked him. Tail grab 360. Really scary trick to come back down fakie on that quarter pipe. And he gets close, he does right it. There, he just Bob. needed that. Oh, uh, yeah, he's front seat a little bit, I guess, because he's coming down backwards. But he needed to squat and put that body forward there. That was pretty much done. The hardest part was done. Ronnie. Yeah. He said his stomach hurt. <laughs> Thank God one of us here in the booth speaks Portuguese. That's right. So I had to translate that one for you like you, you needed that because you so know it hurt. Here's Jake Brown. He's sitting in fifth place. Already oh, has that right landed in. run. Puts his tail down and drops. Jake Brown having a hard oh. time bringing that. That hurt. I think that hit his face Did right there. Did that go to the face? Yeah. And those boards are heavy, man. Ooh. Wow. A little bit too much of a snap again. He kicks it out, but when he lands, the board just stays. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was a hit. Workplace hazard, no thank yep. you. Jake Brown not board, having a good board time one, with that. Jake. <laughs> well, I guess Jake's got one because he got a combo in. Now it's board one to one, Jake. So, so a tough that's one. a warrior. A tough one that's for a, Jake Brown.
Smile away <laughs> with a bloody nose. Sunday on ESPN and ESPN Deportes at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. We'll have another International Champions Cup match between Premier League powerhouse Liverpool and the powerhouse Borussia Dortmund, led by U.S. star Christian Pulisic. It's also available streaming live on the ESPN app so you can watch it anywhere. Love me some international football. Italo Panarubia, he wants a run. And he has tricks. Everyone here skating right. can move things around. And this is what's exciting about Big Air 2018. Everyone is ripping. Here's Italo, he's in seventh place. Going for the late. Oh, man. Italo. The tough part is that as we go into this competition, there's a lot of pause and there's a lot of weight and your body starts getting cold. We're, we're here talking and watching, but these guys are waiting and it's so hard to wait that long. You almost want your runs right away because yeah. you were practicing. Italo. Well, let's take a look at the aerial view here Backside brought to you late. by Pacifico. Still over rotating a little bit, getting excited. Yeah, and do yourself a favor if you're just joining us. Get on Instagram and find the video of Italo dropping in from the athlete lounge onto the quarter pipe. We showed it earlier today. If you haven't seen it, it is insane. Well, if you follow any of the the athletes here or X Games yeah, or anyone, everyone I mean, it was, was posting everywhere. <laughs> really cool stuff from Italo. So here's now it's Mitchie. Mitchie Brusco, right? Now he's trying to get this thing lined up. He's in ninth place. He's trying to land this run. He got very close. He got close. It's the quarter that's giving him trouble right now, Bob. Very technical. Very tough to land. Fakey off the land. He's going for a kick flip back on 80. Landing it every time. Showing how consistent. Spinning really good. This might be it. Yes! Oh my gosh, Mitchie Briscoe. Mitchie Briscoe with a 1080. Great Owens oh Raven. He did a 1080. He cannot believe it. Yes, he's done it before, but to put it down in competition. A 1080 at the I X mean, Games. Yeah, Mitchie. Mitchie you Briscoe, welcome to it, the bro. history books. That was insane. I don't know what will happen here. That's off. That's a different approach, and it paid off for Mitchie. Look at this kickflip backside 180 landing every time to get a 1080 attempt. Perfect solid squared up, and he's like, you know what? If I grab pop, very solid there on the takeoff. Kept going. It seemed like he was spinning slow, but he kept going. Whoa. He, Mitchie he Bruce kept goal. believing just that body awareness and very a uh, higher landing and we just saw a 1080 by Mitchie Brusco in the big air 2018. This event always pushes the boundaries of progression in that was skateboarding. Incredible. Mitchie Brusco a 92 Mitchie taking does over the top we, spot. <laughs> we, Mitchie Brusco made it happen. This crowd Love. has collectively lost their minds. Mitchie Brusco that watching. changes a lot of things that changes a wow that changes the approach that paid off to look at things differently Again. go off the small and Mitchie Brusco did it to 80. Mitchie Brusco all right well Trey Wood wants to get a better score and he's going to go for that mute seven lands it let's see what he goes for might be a body burial burial 540 for Trey Wood Whoa! that was the first time he's done that Trey and that was incredible says i see your 10 yes now check this out and that's what happens when big tricks start to be landed you Trey get inspiration Wood. and you get this back to back oh my gosh we awesome gotta run. take another look at this trey wood on the corner just dripping it but haven't look seen at this. trey do a burial five now interesting he went for a backside 540 and spun that late mute seemed like he was back seating and then just perfect execution by trey Wow, I'm impressed. The makes are contagious now on run number four. A 90 for Trey Wood. He takes over silver medal position. Oh my god. Trey McMorris, yeah. you're out there. That's what insane. is going on? There's some different type of uh, Craig. things going on. Craig, Craig, can you hear us? 
us. Craig's lost. What is happening on the ground here at U.S. Bank Stadium? Uh, these guys are putting the crowd into cardiac arrest, I'm pretty sure. Back to back hammers. Now Tom Shar about to drop. I chatted with him before this run. He hasn't practiced a nine on the quarter, so I don't know if he is going to drop it due to that nagging foot injury. We'll see. Yeah, though, we'll see if he does that, but first it's Clay Kreiner. Clay I at think, first place. Now I all of a sudden Clay's he's at got third. something to say. I have a feeling Clay has something to say. Oh, oh bailing that Indy 7. That's run four out of five. He's going to have to leave it for the last run. Now, I do want to know. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves here. Mitchie Brusco just lit this place on fire. He did land that 10 in Barcelona in yes. Vega. Yes. But we haven't seen it since then. We have not. And we had a different format then. That we is had true. a collection of different gaps and right. best tricks that would accumulate cumulative results. Right. Right. So here, this is the combo. Right. He just did a kickflip back 180 into a 1080. And making it exponentially more difficult. Very much so. And you know, he put it down, and it was a test against these other tricks. So he changed the approach here. Tom Shar was leading this thing a run ago. Yes, now he was. he's on the outside looking he's in. He's outside in fourth place, looking Bob. In. And he's ready to drop in to a tail seven, one foot. Yes. Yeah, so, oh no, no. That's incredible. No. That's a really tough trick. I'm glad he's going for that, and he's trying to add something new. That's one of the toughest things. You don't want to come out here and do the same thing. Tom Shard, tail, controls, puts his foot out. Really well done. Something happened here, a little backseat. But that was a good attempt by Tom Shard. He's got one more. Oh, he's gonna have full to, pressure. He's going to have to send it on his fifth and final attempt. There's no getting around it. He is trying. He is going for it. He has to risk. You know, to be in podium, we're, we're, we're looking at a lot of different approaches here in different styles. Clay Kreiner went Hammertown. Then Mitchie Brusco landed the 10. Then Trey Wood jumped up into the podium party. Elliot Sloan, the favorite to win this thing, has yet to land his run. Yeah, and Elliot can do it right here. And there is the Indy 7. Come on, Elliot. Snap it. Got a good snap. That was a really good oh. snap. That was a great snap from yeah. Elliot. I want to get back to this replay. When you say snap, I want you to explain to the yes. viewers at home what you mean by that. I mean he was hanging up, and on the last one, he, he got close to hanging up. So there's a nice tight spin on the Indy 7. He's ready. He's calm. And then now right here, that snap, coping, snap, tail, vert. You want to get a good one. And look at that spin. Up in the 20s with a 9. And then right here, it looked like maybe he felt it was going to hang because that was good. Because it it looked good. It did hang the run before. I just don't know. It looked good. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he knows. I mean, now that we're looking at it, that looked like a great. Wow, Elliot Sloan. We haven't even gotten to our final runs, and this has the making of an all-time great contest. More from Minneapolis when we return. The Real Cost Skateboard Big Air Final has really turned into Mitchapalooza <laughs> out here at X Games, Minneapolis. Mitchie Brusco with the 1080 off the quarter pipe to take over the top spot. It ain't over yet, though, Bob Bernquist. No, it's One not. One more run left. Well, incredible performance by everyone here trying to change things up, really moving around the leaderboard, something and some names that we didn't expect, but right. knew that if they put down runs, that it would move things around. And Edgar is one, Edgar Pereira, Volvo, is one to put a run down for Brazil, doing it. One of the veterans on the big air ramp. We always hear you call him Volvo for those who have never seen Edgar. What, what does that mean? Volvo means grandpa. He was a little grumpy earlier, and that was his nickname, so we and call him stuck. Grandpa. And I guess we call him Grandpa, and they don't call me Grandpa, which is good. So here's Edgar Pereira. He's yet to land a run. This is his last chance to do it. He can do it. If he can slow his thinking down a little bit, gets that Ollie 360, just relax, get a good snap. With a nine. Oh, oh, I cannot believe he went for a heel flip body burial 900. I did not expect that, and that was very controlled and actually very possible. It's amazing if that you is say a new trick. You were spun. not expecting. No, I was not expecting you that. You with him all the time. No, but I mean, I just saw him spin 900s recently. He grabbed that, and he had so much time, and goes 
all the way around, very controlled, board on his feet. If he lands that, Volvo, Edgar, Pereira. Oh my, I'm so proud of him for trying that. That is not an easy feat. It's so hard to make yourself spin. Saving his best for A nine last. off the big one, let alone flip and spin, and then he's flipping and spinning a nine. That has not been done. Was not able and to land And that looked it, possible, ooh. and if, if anything, he goes away with that, that's pretty incredible. So here's Toby Ryan. He's sitting in seventh place. He's our youngest competitor at just 14 years old. He's captured the imagination right, of this Toby. entire stadium. Your turn. Backside Ollie three lands it. Heading up the quarter pipe into a 900. Oh! oh! A little too low, a little too much. That body tight makes it easy to spin. And Toby with a perfect spin, looking, but just a little body forward, a little too much over rotation as well. But Toby showing. Yep, a lot of things were going on right there. <laughs> so Toby Ryan will hold on to that first run, and at the end of the day, in your X Games debut, you land your very first run. That's a success. That in is anyone's a success. Book. And then he's spinning 900s and getting close. So here's Ronnie Gomez. Thought we were going to see him on the podium early in this contest, but he's now in fifth place, trying to replace that 80.66. You need to best an 88 from Clay Kreiner. And he's dropping in switch to do that with a switch back 180. I don't know, but this trick coming up with the tail grab 360, and he, he gets does it. it. Ronnie Gomez gets the tail grab 360. Very tough trick. Ronnie Gomez going hard in the That's paint great on his show final for attempt. Ronnie wanted to land that, and he does. He does. He, he puts two great runs. I don't know where the judge would put him here. Here's the switch backside 180. The board stayed on his feet there. Up, oh, little deck check there. Just holding on, a little wobble. And then the tail grab three. That is a scary trick. You don't see anything. You're just hoping for the best. I can see him possibly doing an ollie three that high. That was insane. Great run for Ronnie. I don't know where they'll put him here, but you know, especially with the competition with 1080s are being right. landed, but that was awesome. Yeah, the difficulty of that trick cannot be overstated. Landed his first run, landed his final run. What did the judges think? They'll be think? scoring, you know, you gotta break it down, you gotta score over the gap, and then right. you score the court pipe. You're gonna have to start breaking these runs down. Uh, over the gap, you know, Clay, Definitely got him with the Indy 7. And then an alley-oop 5 is up to the criteria of the judges into a tail grab 3. Tail grab 3 is tough, and an alley-oop 5 is tough. So, I don't know. They're really taking their time with this one, They Bob. should. They should. This, these guys work hard. You know, they want to put their runs down, and they want to make sure that they're being looked at. An 87, so just not enough uh, just to move short. him in the podium, but he does bump up a spot. He does bump up a spot, and that's really good if, you know, go back to the home sessions, get the homework done. But Ronnie, great showing. So Jake Brown, he landed his first run. He hasn't since then. What can he do here well, to finish off? I'm hoping that board slap woke him up into spinning this thing. And let's see. Oh, a good spin. A good spin, a little bit on the back seat, but the board was under his feet. The wind didn't blow it away. He didn't over snap. Here's Jake Brown. Boom. That, see how he's keeping the flatness of the board against the wind. That keeps it under your feet. And then right here, he has to figure out a way to go forward. That was a really good attempt at an Ollie 7. One of the toughest tricks over the gap. Jake Brown showing that so he still has it. Jake Brown's podium drought continues. It's hard to believe. He's so good. He's meant so this much guy to this discipline. This guy is an inspiration. Jake Brown is amazing. Hey, tomorrow on ABC, it's fourth and final day. Brighton Zoiner and the ladies of Women's Skateboard Park. Nigel Houston, Men's Skateboard Street, and Kevin Paraza, BMX Park. It's all on ABC tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. Italo Penarubia just trying to land a run. He wants a run. I wonder if he will go for more than a 540 if he gets his late shot. Let's see. Late shove it, yeah, man, 
little too much of a spin, and he did not put a run together. Itolo was skating so good. That's the tough thing about Itolo. Oh, he was skating man. great in vert. Yes. He was skating great in practice. He wanted to see him get it here tonight. Yeah, and I mean, this is a tough field. You want to progress, and he's coming off with this trick here. He actually had an opportunity to land this without grabbing, but he wanted that safety run, and he kept trying that. He got one, bailed the five, and that messed with his head because now he doesn't know if he should go for his big trick. And Italo has so much skateboarding in him. But Mitchie Brusco, our current <laughs> leader, what does he do for an well, encore? I don't know, maybe do a kickflip back 180 no grab, <laughs> and then a 1080. <laughs> I mean, come on. We'll see how he plays let's it, see. because there's still some big names behind him. Yes, it is, him. but I mean, what else? But let's see what Mitchie goes for. Yep, no grab. <laughs> he tried to kickflip back 180 no grab, I mean, yeah. He knew. Yeah, well, if he if he lands it, then go for 1080, and then that's a huge <laughs> score. But look, kickflip back on 80, no grab. Very well attempted. It wasn't off, and then the wind blew it away. But Mitchie Brusco just changing things up. Big Air 2018. Very proud of that kid. Hardworking kid. Absolutely. And we talk about Mitchie and his moment. He's been so close so many times. Yes. Another bronze medal at Vert earlier this week. When was Mitchie going to get that first gold? Is it tonight? Trey Wood might have something to say about that. He's sitting in second place with Trey that night. wants to move it around. I don't know what he can do, but he goes to the backflip. Changes it up, which is good. He, he got his 720 and his varial 5, which he has never done. You know, he's stoked. So what What to try? Let's toss the, the dice here and see if I can come up with a backflip. Hey, these guys are doing what they then, need to do. Oh, backflip. When it matters most. Over-rotating. Obviously, you don't need that much of a whip going off that long, big of a jump. But... Trey, incredible skateboarding all around. So there's three skaters left to drop in for their final attempts. Clay Kreiner had the lead, and then it was ripped away from him by Mitchie Brusco. He's now in bronze medal position. Oh, by the way, he earned bronze in this very event. I think that from what's going on and from their tricks here, they're battling for silver. Uh, and he goes for the Indy 7. He's got That's it. That's really cool. Look at look at Clay. It's the alley oop new five, and he gets it. Oh, Clay Kreiner, alley oop, varial 540 on. The, that is insane. The noisiest of insane. hammers from Clay Kreiner on his last attempt. Clay is not messing around, and. That is an incredible run. I thought he was going to hit most the roof, Bob. Fearful <laughs> He goes for alley -oop. He doesn't see anything. If we're going to show the replay here, he can't see anything. I mean, Indy 7, once he got that, he's like, give the quarter pipe to me. Look at that landing. And then he is pumping. And then, bam, alley -oop 5, grabs it backside, waits. Because you got to do things slow. Grabs it, puts it, and then look at that. <laughs> he was level look at with the shot. luxury look, boxes. He was like alley -oop 5, backside grab for a while. And then look he decides to spin. Oh, He's God, slowing oh, things God. down. Boning that back leg so he can stop the rotation oh. and then controls it in. You said before he dropped in, it might be a battle for second place. Yes. Is that enough to I leave from Trey? Is it enough to catch Mitchie? I don't know if it's enough to catch Mitchie, but I think that's a second place run because that was incredible. Now that was up there, I don't know. A 91, you yeah. called it enough to get him into silver that medal position. Him. Amazing. Wow. Amazing. That's right. That's in there. And that changes things up. That's tech versus power. And you can't really, I mean, apples and oranges, I love them both. You know, it's, we have to give out one medal each right. year. So and Mitchie Brusco stays still on top, at least temporarily, yes. because there's still a couple guys who have something to say about that. Tom Shaw has not missed a podium since 2013. He's looking at a nose blood rolling. Watch him. No he was way. looking at it. No way. I know Tom, but he's like, okay, get smart. He's sitting in fifth place. He's going to need something absolutely humongous. This tail grabs 1 foot 720. It's great gap trick, but he doesn't go for that. He wants to just land it. Lands it to spin a nine. And Tom. Oh. And it got close.
That was. We've seen that from him before. Yeah, but you gotta, you gotta be consistently skating this ramp. And even though Tom shows incredible comfort, yeah, uh, you know it does pay to put a little bit more time. He's been so busy in park, and killing it, it, it everywhere. It should be noted he earned a medal earlier yes, today. Yes, he did. And he's been park. killing the park. And he's been injured, and he's been, you know, that was a good attempt. I don't know. I mean, maybe on the low side, he didn't want to risk that one, but Tom Sharp. And then there was one. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot Sloan has not landed a run. He has not. And Mitchie this is... Brusco is looking for that first ever X Games gold medal standing in his way, yeah. the defending yeah. gold medalist. I'll tell you what Mitchie's not thinking. He is cheering for Elliot. He doesn't want Elliot to bail. He I don't Elliot think he's watching this, he though, does, He's nervous. Oh, yeah. But Elliot, that's a tough, tough last run. Go Indy 7. Come on, Elliot. This is all you. And you spun the 9. And oh, you could no! not. Elliot Sloan. Oh my God. That was the closest he's been all that That was, and he tried to adjust. And Mitchie Brusco with his first gold medal. Wow. Oh man. Mitchie Brusco he in did his it. 11th X Games appearance finally earns that first X Games gold. Mitchie put the challenge in with a different approach. And well, that happened. just surprised everyone. Bob, we've been waiting for this moment since he first came on the scene back in 2011. And yes. it finally happens at X Games this Minneapolis. This has been a long time coming for Mitchie. So much talent. Well, let's send it down to Craig, who's with Mitchie. Mitchie, talk us through the 1080. Man, I, just like I said earlier, like, I just wanted another, I just keep, I just kept wanting another chance to try it. Wanting another chance to try it. Each one had, like, a little bit different mistake, but like as I kept spinning it, I knew I could get around. So on the last one, all the only thing I thought about is like I was on my way there, and I was like, I I just want this one. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna land on my board, and I like as soon as I took off it, I knew it felt different than the rest. I didn't know if it was good different or bad different, but it was like I I knew I wanted it. So you know we got it. You look good in gold, Mitchie. Boys, back to you. Yeah. His yeah, eighth Mitchie X Bruce Games girl. medal. How's that feel to hold the gold, Mitchie Brusco? A look at our podium. Clay Kreiner with the what? silver. Clay Kreiner. And Trey Wood getting the bronze. These are, you know, Trey Wood with his bronze at Big Air. That was not expected and very well done.